drummers against imply timekeeping, Richard D'Albus. Recently, I was having a student uh, of mine in a class here, and I think I came across a way to, to explain the things that I'm teaching in the open-handed position regarding the hi-hat. Most of you, of course, uh, use your hi-hat on the left side, assuming we're right-handed. But I use two hi-hats, as you know. I have my remote, and I use the regular hi-hat on the left side closed all the time. Now, what I was explaining to my student is normally when you're sitting at the drum set, you're facing straight ahead. And the right side is this half, the left side is this half. When you come over to your hi-hat to do time or anything, uh, your right hand is the lead, and I want to eliminate that at all cost. Uh, I teach all my students open-handed position at all times because the pivot is the thing I want to talk about. When you have your hi-hat on the left side, I want you to think of the pivot, the center piece, just moving left. So center now on your hi-hat should always be right in the middle of, the, of your hi-hat. The left is the lead, not the right. So, This is how I want you to understand the things that I teach. That when you're sitting at a drum set, it was by a series of things that happened to get that hi-hat over to the left. But what happened is your right hand went over the center line of your body, the, the other half. And this has caused problems, in my view. You should be playing open-handed, and your hi-hat now is the center pivot this way, that's all. You know, many years ago, I did see a Bill Bruford in the early 90s do a clinic when he had just uh, changed his drum set configuration, and he had a remote hi-hat right in the center of his drum set. And clearly, even at that time, which was what, 25 years ago, it intrigued me immediately because I knew right away. And when he demonstrated that when the hi-hat is in the center, he can use his right or left. Well, that to me was a great idea because when the tom is here, your regular high tom is here, there's nothing wrong with that. But the mechanics change when you put the hi-hat there. And in this case, with my drum set, two hi-hats. Most of you do not have a remote hi-hat, and I understand that. But since you have one hi-hat and it's over to the left, I want you to start thinking in terms of the pivot. Center line is now here, not here. So your left is the dominant, unless you're doing something extremely uh, articulated at high speed, like a bop pattern. That's understandable. But other than that, if you're playing basic rock, think in terms of that. You know, if you're... Uh, saved for patterns that you're going to be doing around the drum set and your remote. That's why I have the remote and I would highly recommend you, uh, you getting one if you can. But my new idea, if you can, get the remote and put it in the center like uh, Bruford did. Because what it's going to do is it's going to allow your right or your left as your center point on the drum set. I do not like the idea of this. Pulling the right and doing the patterns off of the center line of your body. The left should be doing the leads, not the right, because it's on this side. And if you have to, as I say, this becomes your center pivot. Or this, if you had a remote hi-hat in the center. 
and put toms on either side of it if you want, or along the line this way. I'm just trying to explain that what I'm teaching uh, is not, uh, uh, you know, that complicated. What it is is just to utilize your mechanics better and, and to play better. And you're able to do so many other things when the left is incorporated as the lead hand. And I have so many videos in my catalog. Uh, please go back and look far back into the catalogs. It is extensive now. And I, I was uh, experimenting back then with those things. But now I have a real grasp of what I'm trying to do and articulate it exactly. And this is an example of when I stumbled on to explaining to my student that the center pivot now on your left hi-hat is here, not here. This is the center pivot from your body. Or if you put the remote hi-hat here, this is the center pivot. And of course you would never do that. I know that. But this is the idea I want you to stress and to understand, all right? Any particular questions on mechanics, please ask me in the comment section, I'll answer. And welcome everyone who's coming to visit over in my channel. I have, as I say, an extensive catalog which covers things that I want to teach in the open-handed position. And I have uh, my way of going about that. If you haven't, please subscribe because your subscription is the support for me to continue. So this is uh, just kind of an explanation and analysis of Something I said to my student that I want to share with those of you who come and visit over here, all right? Um, I, I don't always plan out the videos, as you know, or even name them, but I'm, I just do as I, as I think is necessary in order to inspire your creativity as a drummer. And I can't think of anything better than understanding this idea or moving a remote to the center and enhancing a, a different perspective on how you play, all right? Um, if you would, I have my PayPal account. I'll leave that in the comment section. Any support you can give to me is greatly appreciated. Uh, so this is something new, and I just want you to understand it. And if I get another idea or inspiration from one of my students, I will let you know. But this is what I have today. Let me know what you think. My best to all of you for looking in. Take care.